we basically have spent 25 years trying to sift through um, the blood system to find these elusive uh, stem cells. You know, people talk about finding a needle in a haystack. Well, that's literally what it was. I mean, this had been a goal of studying stem cells for many, many decades. But several things had to come together. And one was the development of instrumentation where you can sift through cells very quickly. And the way you sift them is based on the property of those cells. It gets a little bit complicated, but if you think of it, every cell in your body has, has uh, uh, proteins on its surface that are specific. So your red blood cells have things on its surface that are specific for a red blood cell. And a white cell that makes uh, you know, antibodies has different things on its surface. You think of it as a letter and a name. You know, it can say, well, you know, my name is John. Well, you can't find me by just saying J. You have to put together J, O, H, you know, N. And so it's the same thing on a stem cell. We came across about eight markers uh, that are on those stem cells that make them unique from every other blood cell in the system. And by sifting through, you know, let's say 100 million cells, uh, what we are doing is we're sifting through any cell that has all these eight markers. If it has seven out of eight, it's put in a different pot. If it has six out of eight, it's in another pot. But if it has eight out of eight, it's in this pot here. And if you sift through enough cells, all of a sudden you end up having, you know, 500, 1,000 cells. And what we learned in our research now is that every one of those is a stem cell.